Good morning, children. Welcome back to online English classroom. I am Vijita, your English teacher. I hope all of you are safe and healthy. Dear. Did you study last day's topic? What was that? Yes, it was last and found. Today we will discuss next lesson, lesson 2, the tale of a Peter Rabbit. It is a small story. It is a nice story. And it was written by Helen Beatrice Potter. Before discussing the lesson, let us watch a small video. The Tale of Peter Rabbit An extract from The Tale of Peter Rabbit by Beatrix Potter Once upon a time, there were four little rabbits. Their names were Flopsy, Mopsy, Cottontail and Peter. They lived with their mother in a burrow under a fir tree. One morning, Mother Rabbit said, Now, my dears, you may go into the fields, but don't go into Mr. McGregor's garden. It is not safe. Then, Mrs. Rabbit took a basket and her umbrella and went to the baker's shop. She bought a loaf of brown bread and five sweet buns. Flopsy, Mopsy and Cottontail were good little bunnies. They went to the field to gather blackberries. But Peter was very naughty. He ran straight to Mr. McGregor's garden and went inside the gate. First he ate some lettuces and some French beans. Then he ate some radishes. Next, Peter wanted to eat some cucumbers. But suddenly he saw Mr. McGregor. Mr. McGregor was planting cabbages. He jumped up and ran after Peter, calling out, Stop, thief! Peter was frightened. He ran all over the garden. Poor Peter had forgotten the way back to the gate. Peter ran into the tool shed and jumped into a can. The can was not a good place to hide in. It was full of cold water. Mr. McGregor thought that Peter was hiding under a flower pot. He looked carefully under each flower pot. Suddenly, Peter sneezed. Shoo! Mr. McGregor ran after him at once. Peter jumped out of a window. The window was too small for Mr. McGregor and he was tired of running after Peter. So he went back to his work. Peter ran out of the gate. He did not stop running till he got home to the big fir tree. I hope all of you watched the video. How was the video? Yes, it was very interesting. So, let us discuss the main characters of the story. Who are they? Yes, it is a mother rabbit and her four children named Flopsy, Mopsy, Cotton Tail and Peter Rabbit. And this Peter Rabbit is a naughty rabbit. Then the other characters are a sparrow, not a sparrow, some sparrows, a mouse and the gardener named Mr. McGregor. And this story is about the naughty Peter Rabbit. In the beginning of the story, we can see the mother rabbit wants her children entering the vegetable garden of a man named Mr. McGregor. All her other children obeys her, but this Peter Rabbit went to the garden. As soon as he enters the garden, he began to eat lettuces and French beans. But what happened? His stomach aches. 
and he begin to find some parsley leaves to cure himself at that time mr macgregor finds this peter rabbit and he began to chase this peter rabbit seeing macgregor peter rabbit was afraid and he began to run and run and run peter loses his jacket and shoes while he trying to escape some sparrows and crouch peter to get up and run when he gets caught in a gooseberry net he then hides in a watering can in the tool shed and gets completely wet but he has to run away from there also when mr gregor finds him now he gets completely lost his way to home he asks the direction to the gate to a mouse but the mouse is unable to help him as she has a large bean in her mouth after searching some more peter sees the gate from a distance he runs towards the gate he sees Mr McGregor on his way but he doesn't stop he finally wriggles under the gate and escape from the garden as soon as he reaches the home he flops on the soft floor of his house tired of this adventure that's the end of the story do you think that peter rabbit will ever go back to mr macgregor's garden no he will never go there because he was so much afraid of this gardener i hope all of you understood the story clearly i attached the pdf of this lesson below read the lesson at least 5 times and point out the difficult words if you have any doubt feel free to contact me See the instructions given below and follow accordingly. We will discuss the new words tomorrow. So that's all for today. Thank you.